Hey guys, it's Connor and welcome back to my channel, The Closet. Welcome to my first video for 2021 and what a better way to start it off with my Cartier Love Bracelet review. Now I purchased this bracelet two weeks ago now and I've worn it consecutively for the whole two weeks. Obviously the reason why I wanted to film this video after the two weeks was so I could give um, an accurate depiction of my opinion on the bracelet because I have not taken it off in that whole two weeks. It has stayed on my wrist, sleeping, working, showering, going to the gym, all of that. So I feel like it's an accurate depiction that I can give now um, because I've worn, I've worn it like 24 seven. I have to admit that I was quite apprehensive about purchasing this bracelet because personally, I am not somebody who um, likes to wear jewelry. And when I wear jewelry, it's not, it's like costume jewelry, jewelry, blah, blah, jewelry like, God, um, like Hermes click H bracelets. So they're something that, you know, they're like, you wear it to an event or you wear it out to dinner or whatever. And then you take it off as soon as you get home. Whenever I wear something like that, I'm dying to take it off as soon as I get home. Like it's not something that I like to keep on for a long period of time. And it's not that it's uncomfortable. I feel like it's just, I don't know. It's just something I, I feel like it's like on me. I can feel it on me and it's probably all in my crazy mind, but it's just not something that I would wear 24 seven for that reason. So naturally when I was looking at getting a Cartier bracelet, my first thought was like, oh God, I'm going to be wanting to take it off straight away or like how comfortable is it? And I think everybody's opinion on what's comfortable is obviously, you know, so subjective as well. But first of all, before I get into the whole kind of my views on wearing it for the two weeks, I'll show you what I got. So it's still on my wrist. So I got, um, yeah, the Cartier Love Bracelet in the rose gold or pink gold as they call it in the Cartier world. I call it rose gold because pink gold sounds like, like it's something you'd give a toddler. So I call it rose gold um, and I got it in the size 18. Um, I really like the rose gold. I feel like it complements my skin tone really well. Um, and I feel like it really pops on my skin. And I notice it a lot when I'm showering or when I am, um, when I'm wearing like very plain clothes, it just really pops on my arm. And I love that. I look down at it and every time I look at it, I smile. And um, yeah, so I'm really happy I got the rose gold. I tried on a Cartier bracelet in yellow gold and whilst it did look good, it just, on me, it looked a bit, I don't know, not me. It just didn't suit my skin tone, I don't think. So I'm very glad I went with the rose gold. I purchased this pre-loved from a friend of mine. She had purchased it, but like initially for herself, brand new from the Cartier boutique and she had purchased the size 18. After wearing it for a little bit, she realized that the size 18 was not her size. So she decided to sell. So I purchased it directly off her. Um, I'm glad that I was able to purchase it pre-loved because I was able to save over 30% off the retail. And I think the retail now in Australian dollars is 9,800 for just the normal non-diamond version. So I saved about just over 30% of that. So I'm super happy. The condition, um, was like brand new and it came with the box, the receipt, um, the, like the screwdriver, um, the little love booklet. And she also had purchased a cleaning kit from Cartier when she purchased it. So it came with that as well. So to me, I got the best of both worlds purchasing it pre-loved. In terms of sizing, I'd gone into Cartier maybe two or three times and I tried on um, I tried on the thin love bracelet, this size love bracelet, and maybe the just clue or whatever it's called, the Jack bracelet, and to make sure that my sizing was right. And I also went in, I went in once, one time, and then I went in like two months later because I was, you know, like umming and ahhing on it. And I tried it, I tried on the sizes both then. The first time when I went and tried on the um, the love bracelet. I was a size 17. That's what fit me. And, um, even the essay, then she said, yes, you're a size 17. Then when I went, it must've been actually three months later, I think I had put on the old, what do we call it? Quarantine 15. So the 17 no longer fit me anymore. She, she literally could not even put it on my wrist. Um, it was pinching me. So I was now an 18. <laughs> 
<laughs> and um, so, yeah, I'm now an 18 and um, I'm so glad that I went back in and retried it on because I would have been very disappointed if I had just been like, yeah, I'm a 17 and then bought it pre-loved and then realized it hurt to put on. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, and, and when I was looking on the pre-loved market, it seemed that 17 and 18 predominantly were the most common sizes for I would strongly recommend if you are purchasing a love bracelet, whether you're buying it like brand new from the boutique or buying it pre-loved from a friend or wherever, I would recommend going in and trying on a size, finding what fits you in the store and then going back in a month or two months. Not necessarily for weight gain because that was just my lack of self-control, but I did not realize that when you wear a bracelet 24 seven, your wrist expands and contracts a lot during the day. And it really comes down to the humidity, um, how hot or cold it is, what you're doing, if you're exercising, if you're sweating, how much water you've drunk in the day, all of those things come into play. And I did not realize how snug the bracelet would be in parts of the day and then how loose it would be in other parts of the day. I actually thought that the bracelet was like, coming loose or something like that. And I know that's stupid to even think, but I just didn't even factor into my mind how much your wrist contracts. So that's why I would recommend trying it on a few different times because you might think it's perfect one day and then the next it's too small for you. I'm glad that the 18, when, um, when there's a lot of humidity in the air, that's when the bracelet is the most snug. And then when I would say the weather or, you know, the environment is neutral, that is when the bracelet is like now and it has a bit of movement. It's not like a jingle jangle bangle because that would drive me insane, but there is movement so I can move it up and down. I can't turn it all the way around my wrist, which means it fits perfectly. Um, but there is, there is movement. So when there obviously is humidity, um, and my wrist expands that ever so, ever so slightly, um, the bracelet still isn't then too tight. So when the bracelet arrived two weeks ago, um, obviously I was incredibly excited and the first thing I wanted to do was put it on because I wanted to get used to wearing it straight away. The whole time, like the day that it was coming, the whole, the whole time I was thinking, oh my God, I really hope it's not going to annoy me. I hope that when I put it on, um, I just get used to it. I hope it doesn't get in the way of my day to day things. And that's the, you know, and I think a lot of people do think that when they do purchase the Cartier Love bracelet. Some people choose to wear the bracelet on special occasions. Some people, um, choose to not wear it to work, but then they will put it on every other day or after work or whatever. Um, and everyone has their own, um, their own way of wearing it. I personally, had justified the purchase by knowing it was something I wanted to wear consecutively every single day, I wanted to wear it to work, I wanted to wear it out of the house, at home, all of the ins and outs, because there's not a lot of luxury items, especially with what I do for work, where I can take them to work um, and where I can wear them at work or whatever. So this is probably one of the only things where I would get the most benefit and wear out of. So... I always had the intention of wearing it 24 seven. Obviously the catch 22 with that was, I didn't know if it would annoy me, but once I put it on, I remember of course looking at it, thinking it was the best thing in the world. Um, but when I put it on, I remember thinking, hmm, I can like feel it. And I know that sounds dumb, like I can feel it, but the whole time I was wearing it, I was like, oh God, I can feel it on my wrist. Kept moving my wrist, kept moving my wrist. After the first hour, I got over that. I, I, like your mind is not fixated on it anymore, so you completely forget about it. So I wore it, I must have got it at like maybe 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock during the day, and it was my day off from work. So I wore it, I went shopping, I went here and there, and I did not even notice it one bit. And that was quite surprising. I thought it would take a few days for me to get used to it, but no, I was used to it after a few hours. The next hurdle in my mind was sleeping in it because I'm an incredibly fussy sleeper. I don't just sleep on my side or one way. I sleep like it's so inconsistent. I'll sleep on my face and I'll put my hand under the pillow. Like I'll sleep like that. I'll sleep like on my side with the hand under my pillow. I'll sleep with both hands on my pillow like this. Honestly, I think I need to be studied. But 
that's probably what I was most concerned about because I am such a fussy sleeper. I felt like what happens if I want to sleep a certain way and then the bracelet is pushing against something or, you know, if I knock it in the middle of the night or if it knocks me in the middle of the night or if it's just uncomfortable. So naturally, a lot of people have those concerns. The first night I wore this, I did not even notice it was on. I Even to this day, I do not notice it when, I, I'm, when I'm sleeping in it. And that surprised me the most out of all of it. Um, so it is incredibly comfortable. I know you wouldn't think it, but I think because of the oval shape of the bracelet and how it complements your wrist shape, it just kind of molds to your wrist all and it just becomes comfortable and you do not notice it when you're sleeping whether my hands under the pillow where I'm on my side or whatever you do not notice it at all and that was a big box tick for me and I was so happy because that obviously was something I was <laughs> concerned about but I can't even explain how comfortable it is to wear when you're sleeping and yeah so I was very impressed in terms of showering and everything I just shower normally I don't take it off um I just wash myself and do whatever you'd normally do in the shower and at the end of my shower if there's like body wash or whatever I just rinse it under cold water and it's fine um when I dry myself I just make sure that I push it one way dry this part of my arm and then push it back and then dry this part of my arm and then just make sure there's no like water sitting under it because that's gross <laughs> so in terms of that you know it's very, very easy. And because it is, it's not costume jewelry, it's fine jewelry and it's 18 karat gold. It's not getting damaged by water. Um, I, I go to the beach and I swim in the pool occasionally. And I read online, people were saying, don't, um, like you must take it off when you swim in the pool or in the beach because all of the chemicals and everything can, um, and then I was like, mm, that's weird. So I asked Cartier and they told me that it's fine to wear in the beach and it's fine to wear in the pool. But once you get out, just make sure you rinse it in like clean, fresh water and don't get it in the sand because where the, um, where you tighten the bracelet here and like obviously on the other side, um, sand can get lodged in between the tiny, tiny, tiny little grooves. So that was the only thing they really said to avoid, which makes sense. Now, in terms of wearing this bracelet to work every single day, um, so picture putting on clothes, putting your arms through, um, you know, doing the washing, cooking, writing. I wear this on my right hand. Yeah, my right hand. <laughs> God, why did I have to think about that? I wear it on my right hand and I, I mean, we don't, I personally don't write pen and paper that often, but occasionally I do maybe once every second day to write like a note or something. Um, so if you are somebody who writes with a pen, it might be a bit annoying if you don't want it banging. To me, if I'm doing a little bit of writing, I just push it up a little bit so it's not right on the, on the notepad or whatever, and it's fine. In terms of putting on clothes and everything, you don't even notice it. It doesn't get caught on anything. It doesn't pull anything. Um, so you don't notice it. At work, it has not hindered anything that I would normally do. And my intention of the bracelet was to wear it. So I'm not fussed with scratches or anything like that. I just do what I'm doing as per normal and I don't really worry about it. Um, if I'm getting near something like a wire brush, because sometimes I have to use a wire brush at work, of course, I'm not going to purposely like rub it against that or get it near it. But general day-to-day -day activities, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't get in the way of anything. Um, and I'm actually so surprised that it hasn't. I was scared that maybe I'd be a bit more careful doing things. I'm really not. And I'm not the kind of carefree person when it comes to luxury goods. I'm quite careful. I like to protect things, but I think because of the nature of this bracelet and it is really good at actually hiding scratches, um, you just wear it and I wear it to be loved and to be used. And I'm glad that I have that, that mindset when wearing it. Um, but yeah, honestly, it's comfortable. It has not hindered anything in my day to day. And I'm so surprised. My perception of it has completely changed um, and I'm glad that I got it. I think the biggest takeaway from this video is if you are looking at purchasing Cartier Love bracelet, make sure you research the size. The size is crucial and it will either make it or break it for you. On one of the Cartier Facebook groups, I see 
maybe like four or five posts a day of people uploading a photo like this going, does this bracelet fit me? And fitting is so subjective because not only does it have to physically fit you, but a lot, some people like a lot of movement. Some people like being able to shake it and some people like it snug. So it's really the perception that you have of a bracelet and nobody can really tell you whether it fits you or not. So do your research. If you are close to a boutique, go in there, try it on and get a feel for it. That's the best piece of advice that I could possibly offer for you. And if you are choosing to buy it pre-loved, make sure you go through a reputable consignment store and um, or something like that. Don't, I would not recommend purchasing it off like eBay or anywhere like that because the super fakes of them are so um, are so close to the original and barely anyone authenticates Cartier because the the super fakes they use real gold they use real diamonds um, they copy the box and everything like that so I would just recommend purchasing it either from the boutique or from a reputable reseller or like I did a close friend um, or somebody you know who has purchased it directly from Cartier. Thanks so much, guys, for watching my Cartier Love Bracelet review. It was a short but sweet one, but I wanted to just kind of nail the points that really I was concerned about. But like anything, if you have any more questions, please do not hesitate to comment down below, reach out to my Comrades Closet Instagram or Facebook account and message whatever questions you have through. Like always, if you have any other videos that you would like done on bags or topics or whatever, please reach out as well. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll catch you next time. <music>